Good morning, all. What an exciting uh, time to celebrate a bunch of stuff. One, celebrating uh, the new Honorary Consul of France to Vermont, but also to celebrate all of you. I look around and I look at all the faces and the people that have been so much part of this whole movement for the last 10 years. And I, it's kind of exciting because, as I talked to Marie Claude earlier, we have brought together um, a lot of constituencies in this French connection. When you think about it, France is responsible for Quebec. They're responsible for having a United States of America. And we are here to celebrate what is now 40% of our culture in Chittenden County is French. And we all go back and we have these wonderful connections. And I look around all the people that I've worked with for well over a decade now, and I look at the exciting moments in time of bringing this French connection together um, with the state and what we've accomplished in Vermont and Quebec. Um, I look at having spent some wonderful moments with four uh, Consul Generals of France and developing connections with En Fleur um, to do some amazing bestowal of Legion of Honors to people in there that were as old as 100 that helped liberate France. So we helped France during World War II, they helped us through the Revolutionary War, but we've continued this cultural and this education and this political and artistic way. If you look at what we've done with Enfleur, with art, with education, uh, Moreau was there, we've celebrated um, our connection to our beautiful city, you're gonna hear from their mayor. So I, I wanna just celebrate everything that we started way over a decade ago in that chapter, and I, I look forward to uh, the next chapter, which I know will even be better when I look at all the things that we've created together um, in a fun concept. I, the uh, honorary consul is here from uh, New Hampshire, which is wonderful, and we have such a beautiful French connection to Quebec as well. There's over a million and a half people that come down from Quebec. Uh, French speaking, we've promoted it with Burlington. Um, we have over a hundred million dollars of connections between what we've done. Um, <clears throat> Doreen has brought down some amazing artists, both from France, um, artistically, and uh, both from Canada. So I, I love the, the way we've all kind of combined this together and brought it together, which we're really delighted. Um, I'd like to introduce to you now um, our mayor, uh, Moreau Weinberg, who, Berger, who has had an amazing, he's been an amazing support for the whole time I've been involved for 10 years, um, supporting us and celebrating us and even had an opportunity to go to uh, the beautiful city of Enfleur, which by the way, uh, is where Champlain sailed from to, Qu to develop Quebec and then came down and discovered Lake Champlain. So there's the kind of all the triangles that we are connecting all the dots. But um, Moreau, thank you for your support, and I'd love to invite you up for a couple words. So good morning and bienvenue at Burlington to, uh, to everyone. It's uh, exciting to be having this uh, event once again. We've had over the last decade uh, a number, almost an annual um, convening like this, but like everything else that's been disrupted by the pandemic and it is uh, exciting to be able to gather once again and do so. Uh, safely as a result of the remarkable efforts um, of the city of Burlington, the state of Vermont, the entire community. Uh, we know we're in, in one of the city, safest cities in the country um, as a result of the, the collective effort. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you here and especially uh, want to say, say a special thanks and, and welcome to the Consul General uh, and thank you for being back here and spending the entire day. I understand the Consul General uh, is going to be meeting with um, our superintendent and talking about a multi-year effort to expand um, uh, the, the education, the, the teaching of uh, French in our schools, and I'm looking forward to spending more time later in the day. Um, 
the, I, I think it's so early in the morning, um, or is it, is it early in the morning or late in the day? Late in the day that uh, I'm not sure we're uh, going to have um, my counterpart, uh, Mayor Michelle Lamar, actually with us live, but he will be giving a um, statement uh, when I'm done. And it has really been a, a privilege to serve alongside Mayor Lamar now for um, uh, more than nine years. Both of us have been in office the entire time, I believe. He's he far outlasts me. I mean, he's pushing 20 years now, I think, right? Um, and it's uh, really been a special connection that uh, personally been able to make with Mayor Lamar. And it is um, it parallels this longstanding and really unique sister city relationship where, yes, as as Ernie mentioned, um, this this uh, historic roots of this relationship go back more than 400 years now. Today marks an important opportunity to recognize and celebrate the ties that so many in our community have to the Francophone world, the tremendous impact that French culture has had on, on the city of Burlington and the ongoing cultural and economic relationships that link us. In particular, we are really happy today to be celebrating two individuals, Lise Verano and Ernie Pomerleau, as their names suggest, uh, you know, in, in, their names alone being an indication of that uh, French connection, uh, have contributed to our city and the, to the relationships between our city and our neighbors in Canada and overseas in, in France. Burlington is tremendously honored to once again have a community member, part of the city team, a woman who has contributed great service to the city's police department and fire department. Um, it, we once again have a community member accept the prestigious role of honorary consul to France. And I am confident that Lise will, as she has long done, continue to the further the bonds of friendship between Vermont and France. Lise has demonstrated a commitment and ability to advance our shared goals of cross-cultural trust and understanding in her leadership of the Burlington On Fleur Sister City Initiative. And, uh, it, you know, as, I will just, as Ernie has already mentioned, it was uh, really one of the highlights of the last uh, nine years to be able to um, experience firsthand that friendship on, uh, as part of a delegation that went to On Fleur several years ago and um, uh, that, um, uh, involved both an artistic and cultural and even economic element to that, that event. Um, the city of Burlington welcomes many visitors from France, Quebec, and Canada, uh, and other parts of the French-speaking world each year. Of course, we haven't welcomed quite as many as we'd like over the last uh, 18 months, but that's starting to change. And as we continue to move forward from the pandemic, we look forward to welcoming them back to Burlington in the days, weeks, and months ahead. Thank you all for joining us today. It's an honor to have you here in Burlington, both in person and virtually. And I look forward, very much forward to our continued partnership in the years ahead. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to invite the uh, color guard in if they would be um, ready to enter. Thank you. And now we have a, a little video uh, from the mayor, as Moreau had mentioned. <clears throat> um, Michel Lamar is a, a, a gentleman, a sweet, sweet person, and he's very funny. Um, he, he, he was here. Uh, we've spent time with him there. He could not be more gracious. Uh, we started this program uh, shortly after um, the Quad Centennial, where it brought all of us together, the state, the city, Quebec, and France in, as to one. And it only made sense to celebrate uh, this cohesiveness with where Champlain had come from. And we've met with him several times. So I'm going to invite Richard Gleish up, who is on the, um, <clears throat> been very active on the Enfleur Committee. Um, and Alliance Francaise, 
and is our French translator. It's always good to have somebody from France translating your English because we don't do so good sometimes. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then we're going to play um, Mayor Lamar's piece and then uh, Richard will translate. Bonjour à nos amis du Vermont et en particulier à nos amis de Burlington. Et puis bonjour surtout à Lise, à Lise Véronneau. Ma chère Lise, je voulais te féliciter pour cette magnifique nomination de consul de France pour Vermont et pour Burlington. Je sais que tu sauras représenter la France, notre beau pays en particulier et en général, et puis que tu penseras également dans tes représentations à Honfleur, puisque tu es membre du comité de jumelage entre Burlington et Honfleur. Euh, je connais ta, ta culture profonde, ta, ton amour de la France, tes talents de cuisinière française et j'espère qu'après cette belle cérémonie dans les salons de, de, de Burlington, tu récompenseras tous tes amis qui t'ont soutenu euh, grâce à un très beau dîner euh, dont tu connais le secret, voilà, ce soir ou un autre. En tous les cas, euh, pour cette euh, nomination importante, je tenais à être ici en tant que maire d'Onfleur et, et au nom des habitants d'Onfleur et de ce territoire à, à te féliciter mais surtout également en tant qu'ami, et j'espère te revoir et revoir nos amis de Burlington très bientôt. Bravo Lise, félicitations. Good morning to our Vermont friends, and more specifically to our Burlington friends, and most of all to Lise Verona. My dear Lise, I want to congratulate you for this magnificent appointment as an Honorary Council of Friends for Vermont. I trust in your ability to represent friends, our beautiful country, in general, but also that in this position, you always have a special thought for Honfleur, being part of the Sister City Committee between Burlington and Honfleur. I know the depths of your culture and love for friends, as well as your talents for French cooking. I trust that after this ceremony, you will treat all the friends who supported you with a magnificent dinner. <laughs> <laughs> for this very important appointment, I, want, I wanted to be present and congratulate you as the, as the mayor of Honfleur and in the name of all, all of Honfleur citizens, but more importantly also as a friend. I'm looking forward to seeing you and all our Burlington friends soon. Congratulations, Lise. He really is a delightful human being. Um, and so is Moreau. I mean, let's just put... <laughs> Didn't do any comparison out of, out of Waco. <laughs> Uh, so my, I'm going to um, invite uh, Peter Van Tyne up, but before I do that, I just wanted to say that Peter is part of the educational community with St. Mike's, and he'll be representing not only himself, because he's on the uh, Fleur Board and a lot of other um, initiatives, but he's representing uh, President Lorraine Sturat. And, but at the same time, when I look around and the work that we've done with Champlain College, named after Champlain, right, which is what, and I look at the University of Vermont and all of its interactions, we're, we're all kind of a, a, a holistic environment here in a small community where we interact. But education is a really key instrumental part of our initiatives uh, with the French Connection. But we have been supported by St. Mike's immensely and by Champlain and UVM. So, Peter Van Tyne, I'd love you to come up and say a couple words. Thank you. It is an honor to be here and to have been invited to represent, uh, in part, the educational community, as well as to be here on my own behalf as a member of the Enfleur Sister City Committee uh, with that relationship between Burlington and Enfleur in Normandy, France, um, as well as a representative for Dr. Lorraine Sterrett, president of St. Michael's College. 
Um, I'd like to uh, begin by also thanking the outgoing honorary consul, Ernie Pomelo, for having served with such aplomb and grace and generosity, eloquence and zeal for so many years. So thank you, Ernie. Having had a chance to work for a number of years now with Lise on the Onfleur initiative, um, I have every confidence that she will continue to bring those same qualities. There's a well-known expression in French, similar to one we have in English. The French version is plus ça change, plus c'est la même chose. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Sometimes that's used to say things should change more. Here, though, I think it's appropriate to say that um, I think there'll be a great deal of continuity uh, in this change uh, of person in the role, uh, again, bringing those same skills of generosity, uh, efficiency, and efficacy to the job. And I do see um, colleagues from UVM and think also of colleagues from Champlain uh, on the level of education, and certainly to those of us teaching French, whether it's at the elementary, middle school, high school, or university levels, um, it's of the utmost importance to us that locally in this region and nationally throughout this country, uh, students understand the importance of intercultural connections and competencies um, that foreign languages are valued as a means of communication and exchange between cultures and peoples. Um, and of course, that the special and unique relationship between France and the Francophone world, Quebec, and other parts of the Francophone world um, are maintained and strengthened, fostered, and explored here in Vermont and in Burlington uh, specifically. So thank you for this opportunity, and I really look forward to seeing all that Lise will do over the next years in this new role. Thank you, Peter, and representing um, <clears throat> Governor Scott, but also representing yourself, Lindsay Curley is the uh, Secretary of the Agency of Commerce and Community Development and has been instrumental in connecting all the economic and the commerce with Quebec, with France, and everything in Vermont. So we would um, invite you up. Lindsay, thank you for being here. Hello, bonjour, thank you for that introduction. Um, as Mr. Pomelero said, on behalf of Governor Scott, it is my honor to uh, welcome back to Vermont Consul General Montre, and it is also my honor to be here today, um, Lise, to, to congratulate you on this appointment, this position um, that stewards the connection between Vermont and France and Quebec. Um, and also express so much gratitude to you, Mr. Pomelo, for your many years of representation and serving Vermont and promoting the French heritage and culture and certainly commerce in our state. I had to throw that in. <laughs> um, just two years ago, both Ms. Verono and Mr. Pomelo were knighted by the country of France. I hope I get this right, um, Mr. Pomelo, into the French Legion of Honor. Is that correct? And Ms. Verono into the French National uh, Order of Merit. One third of the population in Vermont can claim French or French Canadian ancestry. 355 years ago in 1666, uh, France claimed Vermont as part of New France and erected Fort St. Anne in Isle Lamont. The commerce industry then was the fur trade. Since then, the relationship with France has obviously grown to be a very diverse and rich exchange of culture and products and ideas. France today remains an important partner and investor to Vermont. French-owned businesses and corporations support 1,400 jobs in our state. Um, Air Liquide and Sodexo are some of the French companies that play an important role in our communities. In 2020, Vermont exported $37 million of goods to France, and the state received $54 million in French products. These products range from electronics to health and beauty supplies to wine and liquor. 
We are proud of our long history with France and the Quebecois descendants within our state and just across our northern border, and we are fortunate that Ms. Verona will fill this position with a strong knowledge and commitment to serving the French-speaking people and heritage here in Vermont. So again, I want to thank you both um, for your service to our state and, and to building this really important relationship. Thank you. We're very fortunate to live in such a, a beautiful state, but a small state where the interaction with um, the state community and the citizens of Burlington and the like, it's just, it's easy to, and the congressional delegation. Um, Patrick and Marcel headed up a delegation to um, Quebec. They've been extremely um, involved. And Patrick and Marcel came to our first uh, trip to Enfleur. So we've worked with Bernie and, and Peter, and but it's just, it's been a real big family for a decade, and we could not be um, happier. Um, I now am pleased to, um, uh, Arnold is the, Myth Monte is the fourth uh, person that I've had the privilege to work with out of the consulate. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we have not had a chance to interact as much as I would have hoped to, but. I'm going to now be Lisa's wing man, and uh, so we're we're not going anywhere. And I will look forward to our continued uh, evolution in this process. But I would love to invite the uh, Consul General of France uh, to New England to uh, come up and share the transition. Thank you very much, Arnie. Dear Mayor, Mayor Weinberger, dear Secretary Lindsay Curley, let me also acknowledge the presence here of the Quebec delegate, Marie-Claude Francoeur. Thank you so much for being here, Marie-Claude. It's a great pleasure to see you again. And also our honorary consul to New Hampshire, Adele Bufalbeke. Adele, it's great to see you. And um, I think, Ernie, you said the word, it's like a big family, and it's wonderful to see all of you today gathered together to celebrate the connections between France and Vermont, but also the great role that both Ernie Pomerleau and uh, Lise Verono played to develop those links. So today is a very moving ceremony because we could see one former honorary consul uh, giving the way to another one, and at the same time there's this deep feeling of continuity. Last time I was here in this beautiful uh, City Hall was in 2019 to bestow the insignia of the Legion of Honor to Ernie Pomerleau and the insignia of the Order of Merit to Lise Verono, as you recall, Secretary Curley. Uh, who would have thought by then that uh, a pandemic would occur that would completely freeze the uh, relationships, uh, human exchanges between uh, the two shores of the Atlantic? And yet, uh, both Ernie Pomelo and Liz Verona managed to keep a vibrant relationship with uh, your French cousins, if I may. You managed to develop uh, the links with uh, the city of Honfleur, this uh, great sister city agreement that you uh, created, that you developed. And it is now one of the most beautiful sister city agreement we have between France and New England because of this history you recalled. Uh, the fact that Champlain left uh, Honfleur to finally reach this Lake Champlain, this beautiful Lake Champlain that we, that, uh, we see here in, in Burlington. Your accomplishments to promote those links have been extraordinary over the years. In 2017, you had this uh, incredible seminar about you know, France, Quebec, Francophonie, and Vermont, and how all those links could uh, expand and uh, create you know, more exchanges um, uh, uh, throughout the state. So thank you so much for keeping alive these, these links and for opening new avenues for our cooperation and our exchanges, uh, because 
the relationship between France and Vermont are uh, based on history, on a cultural tradition that we share and we cherish, on our um, the, the francophone roots of these states that are very well alive, but it's also a project for the future. Uh, I think Vermont and Burlington in particular are an incredible place to develop this francophone culture and uh, space that uh, we all would like to you know, strengthen. Your proximity with Quebec is an extraordinary asset for this region, given the incredible success Quebec has had over the years. I won't speak for Quebec as I'm not a representative of Quebec, but it's incredible to see how Quebec has expanded in all areas and is now one of the most innovative places. Uh, in parallel with France, which has had over the last years you know, a booming um, uh, development in, in the innovation sector and which is now one of the most innovative European states. And so all this we can build together uh, based on our common tradition. We can open new avenues for cooperation, for a bright future, francophone future. Uh, and I think this is a great asset for Burlington uh, itself. So let's continue that work, and I must say I trust Liz Verono to continue that work. Liz, you have demonstrated all the abilities to be uh, uh, the, the, one of the best representatives of France we could imagine for this city, given that Ernie, um, after 15 years, had decided to, um, um, to, 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 to have you take over. And I think this is a, you know, a wonderful, again, it's like a family and we will continue all the good work together. So I came with um, your diploma as honorary consul. It says, in the name of the President of the French Republic, uh, nous, Arnaud Mintré, Consul Général de France à Boston, investi par le décret du 16 juin 1976, de la faculté de déléguer des agents consulaires dans notre circonscription, avons nommé, commis et délégué Madame Lise Vérono avec le titre de consul honoraire de France à l'effet d'agir sous notre direction et conformément aux lois de la République. Chère Lise Vérono, il vous revient maintenant d'apporter toute aide, assistance et protection aux Français et aux intérêts français dans cette circonscription. Thank you so much, all of you, for all the joint efforts to make this Burlington, France, Burlington, Honfleur, Vermont, France, very vibrant relationship, an example for uh, the entire country. Thank you so much. And now for the next chapter. <laughs> Lisa and I go back from the beginning of time as, as I look around, you know, and I see everything that we've all done together as a community. Um, Lisa would always ask me uh, what we did, would do next, and my answer would be, we just have to have fun. And, uh, but Lisa was Im immeasurably beneficial in keeping the details, because I'm not good with details, I'm good at having fun. And uh, we, we managed to have both. And uh, she was uh, amazing when she took over as chair of the Enfleur Committee. She did seminars on French connections. Um, she was integral in the liaison of expanding the Alliance Francaise. So as she would say, in all things French, I would like to introduce the present standing consul, honorary consul of France to Vermont, Lise Varon. Ernie Pomalgrain. <laughs> Ernie is a little taller than me. <laughs> so um, thank you, Ernie. Um, I am just honored and to accept 
accept, I am accepting now. <laughs> I am accepting uh, this position and I am honored to do so as honorary consul to France in Vermont. Merci beaucoup. Um, you know, I've worked with Ernie for a long time and I, we, we could not have done anything without his support. I look forward to a future with his continued support as he's assured me I would have. Um, with that, I can go straight forward and keep moving. Thank you for the confidence you have shown in me in, by requesting that I be the next Henri Consul in, to France. I am pleased to lend my name and continue building relationships and help promote French initiatives. There are a couple projects in the works um, that I'd like to just let everyone know um, that we're moving forward. We're going to help a World War II Vermont, World War II veteran, get submitted for recognition for the Legion of Honor, and we'll uh, announce that to all of you once the process is well underway, working with the Boston Consulate. And again, working with the Boston Consulate, uh, working with uh, Nancy Prescott, who is here today as well, with the Department of Motor Vehicles and the Ministry of Interior in Paris, France on the French license exchange reciprocal agreement. I, I want to thank the representatives of universities and educational institutions, the Burlington High School that's had a relationship with En Fleur Sister City. I see Jim Brand again in the back with Burlington Bo uh, with their Boy Scouts um, in Shelburne, made a trip to France. Uh, there's a lot of work I could list, but I won't. <laughs> I've already listed in the past, so we'll move forward. But we will do more of all of this going forward at an even higher level working with the state of Vermont. So I want to thank the representatives here today, uh, Lane Champlain Chamber, the members of the Enfleur Sister City, many of them sitting right here, uh, friends and family, and the Alliance Francaise of the Lake Champlain region for promoting and participating in French initiatives. I rarely have asked for anything that people didn't just say yes. And I want to thank you for participating at that generous level. Your time, your energy, your words, your wisdom. Uh, my family who's here today, my husband, right here in the front row next to Adele. <laughs> thank you, merci, David, for just bearing with me as I take time from our lives while I'm trying to have a full-time job with the city of Burlington, the Burlington Fire and Police Department. Thank you to the Honor Guard for being here, um, as they have been for all the international Francophone, Francophile days, international flag raising events that we've done for the last 12 years. So merci to the ever-changing individuals, but the Guard never falters. I want to thank the people here in the room, but also I'm going to look at the camera. Mes amis en Enfleur, mes amis en France, merci pour tout votre ouvrage que vous avez fait avec moi. C'est un plaisir de travailler avec vous. Je suis excitée, tu peux le voir, <laughs> que on va travailler beaucoup de nouvelles affaires ensemble. Uh, we are going to work on a lot of new projects to my friends in France. I'm very excited to go into the next chapter. Um, and I want to say, just a big thank you for all of you being here today. I feel so well supported. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> this is this is the scepter, right? <laughs> This was from all of you, and it was just delivered and uh, from Offler and Alliance Francaise and all the people that have uh, worked with you so closely and are so excited to see you take over this next chapter Thank you. of Merci. our French Connection. Merci. Merci. And with that, um, I just want to thank again our esteemed uh, visitors that have spoken today. And again, a heartfelt thanks to all of you. Everybody in this room has been engaged in this process, which has really transformed uh, the state, um, working with uh, Canada and Quebec, working with the uh, Consul General in Boston and the like. And so it's it's cultural, it's political, but it's, it's, it's special, it's human, 
and it brings a different way of art and education and an expansion which only we grow from. So that's a celebration. And with that, we're going to move next door. Everybody's invited to the reception. Uh, where is it, Doreen? Up on the patio. Perfect. So you might want to go out either door. Yeah. So great. Anyway, we all invite you and we can continue and probably have a little French wine or something. <laughs> Thank you.